Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is how to build a better mini bike. Today's repair is going to be one of those two bird situations. We're going to address the sprocket ratio and the clearance issue that I'm having with the carburetor bowl. First thing I'm going to do is remove the chain and the carburetor. I have my chain off, and my carburetor is just hanging out with anticipation. I'll place it up here for safekeeping. Over here on the bench, I have a few things written down. We have a Torquezilla. We have an EK chain. And a nine tooth sprocket. This jack shaft has already been modified. Under the direction of my friend Zach over at Zach's Pro Mod, I have a 5 8 bearing on each side and a standard keyed 5 8 shaft going all the way through. I have a split collar to hold the sprocket on as well. As the pulley. This setup is very, very smooth. It's also easy to work on when you're doing things like this. The 10 tooth requires a key. The 9 tooth that we have, my friends over at OMB Warehouse, has the key in it already. So, I'm just going to slide that sucker on. After I pull the key off, of course. Uh-oh. I might need two hands. I can't see the key. There we go. Just had to line it up. I'll take a couple shims. Put those on. A washer action. And then the split collar. I'll push over here just to make sure I'm tight. And then tighten up this side. With this particular mini bike the weight becomes an issue with the stock gear ratio specifically when you're off-road I had mentioned the stress on the pulley when you're running too high and the bike doesn't want to take off initially with the torque that it needs to move well it builds up rpm and it spins the belt before it really does anything worthwhile since we're adding more power and the Torquezilla, we're also going to be adding more RPM and torque. So, if I'm geared too high and I'm too heavy, we're going to do damage on that belt a whole lot quicker than if we can gear it lower 
get this thing to grab and get the tires rolling. Momentum will help us a lot. Switching from a 10 tooth to a 9 tooth is only taking us from 5.3 to a 5.8. Typically, I like to see a 6 to 1, say like a 60 tooth and a 10 tooth. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Since I'm only removing one tooth out of the loop, I'm going to be cutting my EK chain to the same length as the original. If you've never run one of these EK chains, if not for the durability and the fact that it's pre-stretched, it's the smoothness. This mini bike is going to ride like butter. Thanks to my friends at OMBWarehouse.com. I have my new chain on and my tension set. It's not too tight and not so loose that I'm sitting on the frame. Because this EK chain is a little bit more brazen in the cyborg meat factory, I had to add a couple shims on this side just to bring the chain out a little bit so that I wasn't binding up. I could remove the sprocket and also shim the sprocket but it was such a small amount I don't think it's really going to show up next we're going to take a look at this carburetor adapter in order to move the carburetor out so that I have the clearance that I need. I'm going to try one of these generic VM22 adapters. Got this one on Amazon, and it's my first time with something like this. Typically, I get the real McCoy over at OMB Warehouse. That is where I got this adapter which I absolutely love these EC short adapters typically keep everything nice and tight and out of harm's way this is sort of a fluke and this might not even be permanent I just wanted to see if it would work gave me a little bag of hardware with some extra gaskets and it looks like some sort of a reducer with a rubber o-ring couple nuts four bolts let's make this thing happen sweet i got it on there I was able to use the gaskets and the hardware that it came with. And best of all, the carburetor is now safely away from the chain and the sprocket. This worked out a lot better than I thought. You still get to see if it runs though. It's a little bit colder today. All switches go. 
choke on. Say that worked. The last thing we're going to be doing today is installing the Torxilla Super 30 Series driver. I already had this installed with a different motor, but it's spaced out a little differently. I have about a two inch piece of 3 16th key stock that's going to go on and our driver is going to slide over it it's going to take some shims, washers or spacer to get it where it needs to be if we're too far in well it's not going to impinge correctly we're too far out past the face of the pulley this way back here and here then this is going to push the belt into the back plate and really really wear on it like a son of a gun so what we have to do is figure out how to space it so these two faces line up just about perfectly. I'm going to see what combination works. I got some choices. Well, if I put all of these on, I'm not out enough. If I put Big Mama on there, well, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm out this way, probably about the thickness of one of these shims. So what I'm going to do is utilize the single spacer for the front. I'm going to take off this split collar, pull my pulley back, and I'm going to add a shim to bring this face out to match my driver. This is so easy to do with this custom jack shaft. All I do is remove the collar, the pulley, the key. I'm going to end up sliding the shim on. Here's a 5 8. That's the same thickness as the ones I was using for the 3 quarter. 
get one of these on here and then I just add my key and then my pulley finally I get that lock collar on before I put the belt on I just want to show you how smooth this really is take a look from the other side I mean this was ridiculously smooth before now it's just freewheeling along. Booyah. If you guys are still using regular bolts on your clutches and your torque converter drivers, do yourselves a favor and go down to the hardware store Replace it with something like this. You can get them in different lengths. I think they go down to like an inch and probably up to over three inch. But two and a half, two and three quarter, it'll get you a whole lot more thread on there. Plus, they're stronger metal. All you're going to need is the bolt, a regular washer, and a lock washer. The bolt head for this application is a quarter inch and the thread is a 5 16 24. When I put these on, I hold the driver firmly with my left hand and I turn this tight with my right hand no impact driver it's completely uncalled for we'll make sure that it rolls and the belt moves freely so that when we do get to starting this thing up it doesn't just take off on us. If you're anything like me, then you're just dying to see this thing go. But we have one more repair to make before we do. Because as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Now catch you on the next one.